Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we'll be looking at this brand new 2022 Ford Bronco Badlands. Now this particular Bronco is finished in shadow black. And again, it is a Badlands model, so it is the off-road, rock crawl focused Bronco. It also has the Sasquatch package, which does include these huge 35 inch tall tires. It's on a 17 inch beadlock wheel with the aluminum uh, ring around it, which I think looks really, really good. It's a Goodyear Territory Mud Terrain tire. This is actually an, a mud terrain tire. Again, 35 inch tall. See that there, it says a 315 70 17. It also includes the widened fender flares with the Bilstein shocks. Again, all part of that Sasquatch package. We also get front and rear lockers. We have Full LED headlights, the signature LED lighting. We have the Badland specific grill with the sort of gray color. We do have the heavy duty modular steel bumper, which is actually optional, which includes the uh, steel skid plate down there as well. We do have the Lux package. So this is a fully loaded Bronco. We do have the front camera with the washer jet just underneath it there. Nice Bronco logo right in the middle. Coming to the side here again, 35 inch tall tires which is a huge tire. Now the Sasquatch package is actually available on every single Bronco model, which is super cool, including the base model. We do have the functional rock rails down here. So these are steel and this will protect the side if you, uh, you know, hit it with a rock or something, it will protect your door. We also have the LED mirror spotlight as well as that 360 degree camera. We have the side camera right there as well as the blind spot system up there in the corner. Now this particular Bronco is a four door model. You can also get a two door and it has the hard top. So it's optional on the four door. Now the two doors come standard with the hard top, but the four doors come standard with the soft top. This one has the optional hard top. Um, but moving around back here, standard on the outer banks and up, we do have the full LED taillights, the signature LED taillighting here. So it's again, standard on the Badlands. We also have the full size 35 inch tall spare tire with the center a camera there, the rear camera right in the center of the wheel. We also have a rear tow hook. And stepping inside of the Bronco, we do have an intelligent access door handle. And optional on the Badlands model, we do have the leather seating. Uh, so typically you would get a sort of vinyl and cloth, uh, but this one does have the optional leather, which is certainly a nice, a nice feature here with the orange accent stitching here on the Badlands model. It is a power operated seat as well as heated. And here on the door panel, we do get the vinyl material here in the armrest. It's, nice, it's, it's meant to be uh, easy to clean. So you can take the door off, which is a, it's a feature of the Bronco. You can take the door off, you can hose it down and uh, it can be super easy to clean. We also have more of that orange accent here on the door and the, uh, the, the storage uh, little net here in the door. And to the left of the steering wheel, we do have your automatic headlight controls right there as well as your LED mirror spotlight and also your electronic parking brake right there. Climbing inside, we do get Ford's intelligent access key fob with remote start and push button start. Now this particular Bronco has the optional 2.7 liter twin turbo EcoBoost engine. It's paired to a 10 speed automatic transmission. You can also get a 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine, though you can also get a manual with, but this one has the 2.7 liter engine. And again, we do have the Lux package. So this is a fully loaded Bronco. Uh, there's, this isn't really missing any options at all. Um, so in the Lux, Lux, pack, Lux package, we do get a heated leather wrap steering wheel, which is certainly nice. We also get adaptive cruise control with the, uh, the lane departure warning. We also get our volume buttons in here. We also have controls here for your screen there in the gauge cluster and also some of your phone and track buttons there as well. And we can scroll through various things in this gauge cluster. If we start here in the trip and fuel setting, we have your trips one and two, as well as your average speed and fuel economy. And in the off-road section, we do have your off-road status, where it will show you kind of your four-wheel drive settings. We also have pitch and roll. We have power distribution, as well as tire pressures. We have a gauge summary. And then we can scroll through various individual gauges as well. You can view all of those. And we have, again, we do have the uh, navigation. So we have navigation, your phone, audio, and other various settings in here as well. But moving here in the middle, 
standard on the high package. Uh, so this is uh, comes with the high package. Again, we do have the deluxe package, but this one has the high package. You get the 12 inch display. This is a Sync 4 display. Now we're in the audio section here. We do have our Sirius XM or Bluetooth. And you also have a, you can hook up your phone in the uh, phone setting here. Again, our built in navigation. We can go full screen if we need to. We can set home and work addresses. We have various apps like Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. And other various settings in here as well. More general settings. We go into the features section. We do have our driver assistance features. We have our lane keep system. We have adaptive cruise control, pre collision assist, the blind spot system, cross traffic alert, as well as our parking sensors, front and rear. We also have zone lighting and the owner's manual. Moving down here, we do have the dual zone automatic climate control with our heated seats and also that heated steering wheel there as well. We do have a wireless charger on the Lux package, which is certainly a nice feature, as well as some USB outputs right there. Again, our 10-speed automatic transmission this is a select shift transmission, so you can actually change the gears here manually if you want. Now onto the fun stuff here. We do have the four-wheel drive and the GOAT mode selector. So all Bronco models are four-wheel drive, um, but this one does have the Sasquatch package, so we do get the four automatic setting, which is actually a really, really convenient feature. You can throw it in 4A, and it will uh, sort of automatically engage the front wheels kind of when it needs to, sort of like an all-wheel drive system, um, but it's just a, it's a sort of easier system, especially in the wintertime. Uh, now we also have the trail control system right in the middle and the same knob also acts as the goat mode select so we can cycle through various goat modes which is the drive modes we have normal we have eco slippery mud and ruts sand baja and also rock crawl now onto the some of the uh, off-road buttons on top of the dash here we have uh, unique to the badlands model we do have the sway bar disconnect which is actually a super cool feature off-road it allows the front wheels to have more articulation and also have the front and rear lockers as I mentioned with the Sasquatch package and also the trail turn assist, traction control and the hazard light button right up there. Nice lots of good buttons up there. We have the window controls in the middle as well as your power mirrors right there as well. A good size glove box right there. Nice Bronco logo right in the middle. We have this orange accent sort of spread out around the interior here with the grab handles on the door there as well. And lastly, up top, we do have the auxiliary switches, which are pre-wired to the fuse box, and you can tap into these and you know run a light bar. You can run a winch of that, no problem at all. And stepping into the back seat of this Bronco, again, this is a four-door model, so it's got a little bit more space um, than the two-door would. And again, we do have also the three seats. So with the two-door model, you only get uh, two additional rear seats, but this one is a four-door, so you get the three seats like you would find in your, you know, your regular SUV. Uh, we also have again the leather seating which is optional on the badlands we also do have a fold down center console here with some cup holders and we also have our usb as well as another 120 volt outlet right there and also your window switches in the middle and again we do get a good amount of space back here considering this is a relatively small suv popping open the trunk area here we do have uh, the hard top so this is super easy to open we can just flip this up and it stays open no problem this customer did order in the storage bags. We have the bags for the front doors as well as the rear doors. It's upside down, but rear doors and also the roof storage. We also have carpet mats over there so we can hold all of our doors without worrying about scratching them or anything like that. We also have the subwoofer back here for the Bang & Olufsen sound system. We have a 12 volt connector right there. Again, lots of space back here and the seats also do fold down so you can get even more space if you need it. But unfortunately, this particular Bronco is a sold unit. But if you're interested in getting one just like this, feel free to give us a call or visit mcfeeford.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next video.